Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of Hippo Tech. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a very nice uh, widget for your dashboard for Mac, and it's called iStat Nano. Basically, what iStat Nano does is tells you all the things that System Profiler doesn't bother to tell you. Um, as you can see, there's 10 different tabs, so 10 different categories that iStat Nano covers, such as overview, CPU, memory, and everything it has right here is actually portrayed really well within the next tabs. Um, so there's actually two different versions of this app. There's iStat Nano, which I am going to review in this video, and then there's also iStat Pro, and there's like very minor differences, but I'm going to be reviewing that in my next video. So just stay tuned, I'm going to get on with this uh, review. So iStat Nano, there's, as you can see, there's 10 different things. Um, some things I like about iStat is actually very easy to navigate with, so if I just press on overview or whatever, I can get to the different tabs by pressing 2, 3, 4, and all the different um, number keys on my keyboard, actually. So it's actually very simple to do. You get back to menu, you just have to go off and go back on with your mouse. Um, there's actually many different preferences um, if you press the I in the corner. Animation is on. Um, I never turn it off. The CPU memory parts are detailed, which I'll show you what that means later on in this video. I changed my degrees to Fahrenheit. Um, so you can change the different colors of skin. So I'm just gonna show you this for example. Right now mine's on green. I'm gonna change it to graphite and I just press done. So you can see it changed from green to a gray or orange and green to gray and blue. So it looks pretty nice actually. But I'm gonna change it back to green. And then you can do updates of whatever um your memory usage and stuff every five minutes. You can also change the sections and stuff with, and updates. You can do it daily or off and stuff like that. So nothing much. It's from iSlayer.com. I'll put a link to the download in the description. I'm going to get on with the different tabs themselves. So overview is just a very quick, um, detailed, simple layout for what the other tabs explained before or afterwards. Uh, it tells you your CPU, memory usage, temperature, what your fans are at. And just about everything else. Um, so it's just a very quick place. This is what, like if you don't want to go through every single one, this is where you go. Number one is actually my CPU. User is only 4%, the system's 2 The orange, this is what it means by detailed, for the detailed bars. The white is whatever the user uses. The orange is whatever the system uses right now. And the idle and stuff like that. So here's my RAM. I used 989 and all this other stuff. So it's actually very nice. It tells you what's active, what's in wired, and this is just from ScreenFlow. So it takes quite a bit of memory to run ScreenFlow, which you wouldn't have known unless you had this application. Um, next one was disks. Um, this is my hard drive. I have 853.90 gigabytes left, which is a lot of space. I have one terabyte on my space. Um, if you have an external hard drive, I believe that show up here too. Is along with like I guess in blank CD in your CD drive. I guess that would show up here too. Next thing is network. Um, shows you what network you're on, the IP address, how much data is going in and how much data is going out. Obviously, since I don't have Safari open, nothing's going in or out, and my external IP, everything like that, and also my signal strength. Number five is processes. So as you could see, 19, 20 percent actually is my screen flow recorder which I'm using right now. And then everything else, it goes in order of how much uh, computer usage it's going in. So 20% is ScreenFlow Recorder. And all the other processes I have open that I can't really control. You can see docs po popping up there for a little bit, too. The next window is uptime. So my uptime is 16 hours and 44 minutes. My average load are, I don't know. And I have 55 tasks open and 270 threads battery I'll show you a picture actually because this isn't a uh, this isn't a laptop so it doesn't but it actually shows you how many times you've charged a battery in your battery's health so it's gonna be pretty low if you haven't calibrated your battery and also how long it will take till your um, laptop is fully charged and that's actually really cool and a really nice feature if I had a laptop I would definitely want that on my laptop because that's actually really nice to know how fast it will charge up. Um, next thing is fans, um, my optical drive, uh, hard drive, and computer fan. My hard drive is only at a thousand out of 7200, so that's actually really good. Um, fans, 
yeah, interesting. Um, nine is temperature. Uh, my Macintosh hard drive is 131 degrees Fahrenheit, and all this other stuff. My ambient is selling at 72, but my computer doesn't even feel that hot, which is actually really nice about this iMac. And zero is overview. So prob that's about it for iStat Nano. I really recommend this um, widget for just about anyone if you want to know whatever you need to know about it, especially if you have a laptop. Um, the battery window is actually really, really nice to have. Uh, so um, I'll put a link to the description in the, um, the, or rather the link to the download in the description. And yeah, so thanks for watching. To the next time for some more technology videos. And sorry for not having uploaded in quite a while now. But um, I'll try to get onto it. I'll upload at least a video during winter break. I've just been very busy. So yeah, so thanks for watching again. Tune in next time and bye.